Hello, this is Professor Rich Hebner, and I'm creating this uh, screencast for you so you understand exactly what to do with Dev C++ once you have it installed. What I typically do is make sure I have Dev C++ installed on my Windows machine under C colon backslash Dev dash C plus plus. So let's just check that out real quick. I'm on my home computer running this. Let's see. Dev-CPP. And I believe that is the default install folder for you. So once you have it installed, go ahead and run it. Another thing that I did was make a shortcut to it down here on my taskbar. And I'm on Windows 7 at home, which I like a lot. Once you have Dev C++ open, you'll go to the File menu, and then click New, and then click Project. On this screen, New Project, I have a lot of options because I've added some add-ons to my version. But the most important thing you need to know is under the Basic tab, we will be picking the Console application, this choice and then name your project. My first project. Okay. We'll be picking C++. You can click this. The only problem that I've had is every time I click this, it doesn't really keep that as the default. So I think that might be an actual bug in the C Dev C++ IDE. Click OK. Okay. Now it wants you to save your project initially what I did was create a projects folder and put all of my projects in here. Create another folder, my first project. Why are we doing this? Because all of the files that you create that have to do with this project will be stored in a single folder. Click Save. Now, the one really cool thing about Dev C++ is as soon as you create a console project, it'll give you some skeleton code. Now, this code looks very familiar to what I've showed uh, in class. Just some minor differences. One of the things, once I have my skeleton code, I can go ahead and begin entering my source code int age. Remember we did the C out statements. Welcome to IS130. And does anybody remember what the backslash n does? The backslash n gives you a new line and, and brings the cursor down to the next line. One of the things here that I'll have to do is ask the user to enter his or her age what is your age. And I leave a little space there. Don't forget these semicolons right here. And we have to get the user's input for his or her age with a C in statement. Then immediately what we can do is display that right back to the user you entered, very simply, H, and then end L. End L is the equivalent statement of a backslash N, except we use backslash N's inside quotes like this. We can also do something like that. If we are outside the quotes, we can do a new line by using this command. It's end L, E N D L. If I want to, I can also do this, which will place a simple period right after. Uh, right at the end of the sentence. 
Okay, for now, that's all I'm going to show you. Remember what this line is up here. It's actually including or telling the compiler and linker to include this library when it links. It will also include this library when the linker does its work. We can leave this alone for now. If we did not have this, we would need to be placing std colon colon in front of these statements like that. But because we're using the standard namespace, we don't have to put std in front. The statement down here is the function we're pulling uh, from the C standard library. Okay. And within this function, we can call the pause command from the DOS prompt. So it'll actually pause and wait for user input when the program is finished. Main CPP is fine. We want to definitely save this file. File save. Notice I'm in this folder here that we just created. File name main.cpp. Remember that all of your files have to be named .cpp. The .cpp extension for C++. Save. Terrific. Now we want to compile and run it. We click Execute, and we can compile. Thankfully, there are no errors. Click Close. The next thing I'm going to do is introduce an error. What if I get rid of the semicolon right here? And I try and compile. Execute, compile. It will tell me right down here. Line 12, apparently I'm on line 12 where this X is, and it shows what line I'm on down here in the status bar. The error says expected semicolon before C out. So the, the IDE looks like the error is on this line, but the error is really on this line. So we have, we have to be real careful and, and, and look for errors right either on this line or the line before. Now that I've fixed that, execute, compile, click close, execute, run. What is your age? 88. You entered 88. Press any key to continue. If you get this to work, Congratulations, you've written your first computer program in C++. I hope this helps you out. We're going to be doing a lot more with this in the days ahead. Hope you have an excellent evening. Thanks for listening.